Hey, hey, let's go ahead and get some messages from our spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What is the most important messages that the collective needs to hear right now? We've got the Ten of Air. Endings, recovery, and freedom. It's time. It's time to end something. Sorry about the glare, you guys, but this is the Ten of Swords, okay? And this Ten of Swords is about a painful ending. It could be where you feel stabbed in the back for some of you, but this is the end, okay? Tens are endings of cycles in our lives, and they can't hurt you anymore unless you allow them. Um, it could also be, I'm getting the mind, okay, in your head. You're going to have to let go of the pain in your head. Okay, we've got the Ace of Earth. Okay, so new, you know, after the 10 comes the 1. We have the Ace here. Ace of Earth it talks about abundance, opportunity, resources. And we have the 9 of Earth, okay, which adds to the 10 of Earth. It adds to the 10 of Pentacles. So this is like fortune after difficulty. This is about new beginnings. It talks about feeling content in your life, having a life of luxury and independence. Maybe for some of you, you went off on a journey of self-discovery I'm getting. And I feel like for some of you, you're just striving for peace. Okay. I'm getting peace, like a peaceful ending. Like, you know, we have the Empress here, which talks about creation, abundance, and action. Okay. So we have now two cards that talks about abundance. We have the Ace of Earth and we have the Empress here. And the Empress is abundant. The Empress is all about creation, you know, taking this Ace of Pentacles and turning it into that Ten of Pentacles. This is things that have been built up long term. All right. Now, this could be about where we put our energy you know, start working on your health also. Let's keep going because I'm getting some other messages from this, okay? This is about learning. This is about learning. Going back to school even, maybe for some of you. We have the five of air here. Mistakes, melodrama, reassessment. You know, we go from the 10 back down to the five, okay? So there is something, even though I feel like you have optimism for the future, there's still something that is coming back that you are regretting. Looking back at the past, because I see her looking up. Like, this is how I see this, this like when I'm looking down at the table at it. She's literally looking straight up to that Ten of Swords. It's almost like like this too good to be true energy, like feeling like things just are too good to be true. But there's also a feeling of, you know, nostalgia for the pain that it took to get you to where you are. What do we got here? We've got the seven of water. What to do, what to do is what I hear. What to do, what to do. This is about choices, over analyzing, and procrastination. So yeah, I do see someone here over analyzing the past. <coughs> Even though like good things are happening in your life, like there's these awesome opportunities and like new endeavors, there's still a side of you that just keeps like pulling you back to the past. Let's keep going. What do we got here, spirit? Seven of water is also about confusion. What to choose. <laughs> We've got the six of earth, the sun, the seven of air, and the moon. Six of air, trying to move on to calmer waters. This talks about rebelling hope and moving on. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is about trying to move on mentally, but it just keeps coming back. It's like wherever you go, there you are, no matter how far you travel away from, you know, such certain situations, like this always comes back around. It's like always playing out in your psyche is what I'm hearing. I do want to say like, 
talk to somebody. <clears throat> there could be someone like an empress here or, you know, someone who is older and wiser for you to talk to about all of this. And this could also have to do with, you know, it could be a, like a mother-like figure or a grandmother figure. But this is like, sometimes the only relief is to move away from something so that you can get a clear perspective on everything that's happened. But I do feel like there's this like, you're feeling like this new life, this newfound freedom, this new, you know, all these opportunities that are opening up for you. And I feel like there's like this, this duality, right? That keeps you in this limbo. But I feel like a lot of it is mental. And I do feel like you need to talk to somebody about this. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who has mental health issues. There could be children involved in this because I do see the children here. Okay. And the sun usually represents the children. There's something here being illuminated. What was in the dark comes to the light with the sun and the moon. You could be at a distance from someone, okay? I'm getting cycles. It's almost like as you try, you're moving away from certain cycles, but these cycles continue to repeat themselves. We do have the Seven of Swords here in the moon. I feel like, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like the Seven of Swords in the moon. I don't like the seven of swords period, but then when you put it with the moon, there's like sneaky, lying, deceptive, you know, and even the moon talks about illusions. I feel like there's like, there's an awareness that something is wrong. Maybe your intuition is telling you there's something wrong when it, comes to someone that you care about. And it very well could be someone who is younger than you or is less mature than you, maybe mentally. I've been getting a lot of mental health stuff coming up and I'm not surprised because we have Pisces, we've got the sun there, we've got Mercury there, we have Neptune there, and we have a new moon coming up also in Pisces. Um, and I don't know if I said Saturn, but maybe I did. I don't know. Regardless, there's a lot of planets in Pisces. And what is Pisces? Illusions, delusions, fantasies, mental institutions, sorrow, depression, sex, drugs, alcohol, codependent relationships. You know, the highest octave of Pisces is using your intuition and letting go through the art of spirituality, like moving on. Moving on to greener pastures is what I'm seeing here with the sun and the six of pentacles. I do feel like there's an opportunity here for you to make money. Also, I'm getting like financial. I, I almost get a duality in an individual who's like this person by day, but by night they have like a hidden side to themselves. It's almost like, you know, blue collar by day, but stripper by night. You know what I mean? Or going to strip clubs by night. I am getting... I get the mother energy here. The Empress in the Moon is the mother energy. And I do have that here also with this grandmother here. Okay. And then I get the mother here. This is mother energy. 
I am also seeing that someone's crossed over like a mother figure. I feel like she has crossed over and she is helping you try to download information to you about something that is confusing you. For some of you, this could have to do with your children. You know, I am getting children here. There is an emphasis on children and the mother. <clears throat> there could have been some type of pain when it came to your mother energy. And I do feel like there needs to be healing when it comes to the mother energy. And if you, if there is a possibility of healing this, which I think somebody here could be very conflicted, you know, <clears throat> it's really sad. Like sometimes, you know, our kids are collateral damage to a failed justice system, you know, and for others, you know, children are collateral damage to two parents who just absolutely despised one another and used the kids, you know, against the other parent. And, you know, there can be a lot of like brainwashing. There can be a lot of, you know, the kids hearing things about a specific parent. And then, you know, if the parent does anything that the kid doesn't like, that's like proof of what the other party said. Oh, yeah, you're right. They did this, you know. And it's like, you know, there can be this twistedness. And, so, and that causes a lot of trauma when it comes to family dynamics because i do see trauma here with the ten of swords the five of swords and the seven of swords and the six of swords there's trauma here okay seven of cups i don't know what to do i feel like someone here wants a new opportunity and i do with the ten of earth then ace plus the nine is the ten of earth which also has to do with a family and traditions and things that have been built up long term it's it's like the the, the family tree, right? I get that here. But there's like, you know, we have to overcome the mental health issues that that, that kind of shit can create. And maybe that is like talking to someone who has some of the answers. But you have to be willing to listen, you know, to what answers are being told to you. Because I do feel like there is someone here who has information that can help somebody here out of some type of confusion. Because I get this little girl here who's mentally like battle worn. She's got a sword in her hand and it's like she's just trying to fight another day. And I feel like it's mental and we've got this other little kid up here. And then we've got the angel back here in the background. I feel like listen to your angels. And isn't it kind of funny that these two angels kind of look the same, except for one is older and wiser. We've got the gray hair here. Animals could be of significance. I'm definitely getting animals. Someone here who has maybe an animal for, like an, a dog possibly for um, emotional support animal, service dog. We've got a rabbit here. Maybe a rabbit. You could be you're the rabbit. Okay. I do get traveling by water, across water, but I am getting you could live at a distance from this individual. And you may have to rely on because the swords can also uh, be like social media, text messages, phone calls, emails. And there could be some conversations that are had that are not, um, that are painful, you know, because I see the five of air looking up at the 10 of air and, but it's time that somebody starts talking about some things that maybe happened in the past so that you can move on. Someone here needs to be able to move on so that they can work on their health and work on their mental health. 
you know, and it could bring a lot of things into light to help this person. But someone here, it, it's like, I don't feel like it's generosity, so to speak, is like money, but I do feel like it is currency for their mental health. I feel like this person needs to take vitamins, start eating healthier, taking better care of their, it's mind, body, spirit. Because I feel like this person is very confused with the five of air and the seven of cups, like this and all the, the swords cards here. I'm very confused. You know, maybe this person associates pain and a painful ending with a mother. You know, I understand that. I was adopted. I have a lot of like painful memories of, you know, but I don't live in those anymore. Like I used to have mental health issues over those things, but now I've just come to the realization that that's just the way things were, you know, and there's no use crying over spilt milk is what I'm hearing here. Like you can continue to, you know, allow this to take over, but it's going to create a lot of other issues or you can allow this situation come to light because sometimes we see things in such a negative light, but if we were actually to hear the other side, it would bring a lot more into perspective. And I do feel like there is someone here who may have a perspective that someone here needs to hear. You know, and it's sad because other people, we're at this place now where other people just don't even want to get involved. You know, and that's, it sucks because had everybody, you know, and, and people did, oh, you know, peace did drugs or peace, you know, got drunk or peace did all these things because of all the pain in her life and blah, blah, blah. And, oh, it's just her MO. So they were willing to let me die <clears throat> instead of saying, hey, peace, you need help. You know, but then there's people like me who's been through that and nobody helped me. And then I come out and I'm here to say, dude, you need help. I'm willing to say things that nobody's willing to say, but then I'm seen as mean because I said, hey, you need mental, you know, you're, you're having a mental health crisis. Like, you know, these are unfounded. And then all of a sudden I'm an asshole. You know what I mean? And it's like, but I don't care at the end of the day because I can sleep well at night knowing at least I said something when everybody else just wanted to keep the peace to have this false illusion that everything is just happy and hunky dory when really in all actuality, it's not. It's not. We have three major arcanas here. We have the Empress here, which is the mother energy. Grant, uh, passed over loved one energy. We've got the sun here, which is all about happiness and success. It's the, it's the best card in the world. And I feel like somebody here wants that, but because there's some, also some, you know, sneaky lion crap over here. It's like, it's here for the taking is what I'm seeing. And then we have the moon here, which is all about illusions, but it's also about emotion. It's about using your intuition. And it can help you have like a revelation, you know? <clears throat> Where do I wanna go with this? All right, spirit. What is the advice what is the advice on all this? Because I feel like, you know, we have a lot of angels here. We have, um, you know, we've got angel wings. We've got an angel. One, two, three, four, five, six angels here. Six angels out of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. So there's over half where you've got a lot of angelic support. And all you have to do is reach out to these angels and they'll help align you to the right person that can give you the answers that you need. What do we got here? Yeah. 
forgiveness and understanding. That's what's needed here. And here we have another angel. This is about forgiveness and understanding for why things happened. Like, I forgive my mom for my mom's. Uh, I forgive them. I had three sets of parents who I, come on, man, three sets, <laughs> you know, like, fuck. That, that sucked. But at the end of the day, I find forgiveness for them, for, not for them, but for myself. Otherwise, it's like drinking in poison and expecting somebody else to die. I have to understand that, you know, everything happened the way that it was supposed to happen. Now, I can sit around and, and victimize myself off of this and stay in a depressed energy for the rest of my life and allow my inner child to just be, you know... Uh, and, and then I end up hurting myself over it because, you know, we start doing things that are less than savory and that's drugs, that's sex, that's alcohol, that's, you know, or, and then finally, you know, we come to this place of like, I am going to have to forgive myself for choosing this lesson and choosing them to be my, yes, three sets of parents, you know, and, and understand so that I can move forward and I can take everything that I've learned and I can teach it to other people. I can help them get past their, you know, mental. It's basically theft. It's theft. Like, you know, people can steal and things can steal a lot more than your material belongings. It can sp steal your time, your energy, your health, your love, your mind. And the advice in this is forgive and understand. Forgive and learn the lesson. It's time. You guys, I'm going to leave that here. Um, let me know if this resonates with you um, or someone you know. Please share that with them. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, it does help my channel grow. <sighs> this reading is a little bit, you know... This one's definitely got like ways heavy on my heart, but just you guys know that good things can come out of really tumultuous circumstances if you allow it, okay? But you got to allow it and you have to allow the healing in your own heart. Nobody else can make you happy. You know, it's, it's you and you have to work through everything else that's trying to make you unhappy, including our mind. Our mind can play the biggest tricks on us, so... I love you guys all so much. I'm going to leave that here. Take care.